I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about the divergence and integral tests. In problem number 25, we'd like to use the integral test to show that the series sum k going from 1 to infinity of k e to the negative k converges or diverges. All right. Uh, so we're going to use the integral test and so the integral that I want to look at to help me figure out if this series converges or diverges is the following. I want to look at the integral from 1 to infinity of x e to the negative x dx. Uh, first of all, I see that this is an improper integral, so I could rewrite it as a limit. So let's do that. I'll write this as the limit as b goes to infinity of the integral from 1 to b of x e to the negative x dx. So the next question is how do I deal with this kind of an integral and I think that integration by parts is going to help us out on this one. So let's uh, break this integral up into parts. So I'm going to let u be equal to x and dv be everything else which is e to the minus x dx. So du would be dx and v would be negative e to the negative x. Now we're ready to rewrite this integral uh, using integration by parts. Uh, we still have this limit sitting out in front. So we have the limit as b goes to infinity of, I'll just put this all in a big bracket. Uh, I've got u times v, so that's minus x, so u times v minus x e to the minus x and that's going to be evaluated from 1 to b. All right. Minus integral from 1 to b of v du. v is negative e to the negative x. So I've got uh, negative e to the negative x dx. And now we can close that brace. All right. Um, let me just rewrite this thing and make it look a little bit cleaner. We still have a limit as b goes to infinity of, now we could evaluate here. I could plug in the b. If I plug in b, I get negative b e to the negative b as minus, if I plug in 1, I get minus 1 e to the minus 1. So I get minus e to the minus 1. Okay, close that parenthesis. Now I want to integrate this. Notice I have a minus here. That minus could come out here. I could cross those two minuses and make it a plus. So when I take an antiderivative of e to the minus x, I get minus e to the minus x, and that's going to be evaluated from 1 to b. And I can close my brace. All right, uh, let's plug in the b and the 1 and I get the limit as b goes to infinity of, I still have minus b e to the minus b. Now this is plus e to the minus 1, which is also written as 1 over e. Then I plug things in here and I get minus b to, I'm sorry, minus e to the minus b. So I get uh, plus minus e to the minus b minus parentheses plug in 1 I get minus e to the minus 1 minus e to the minus 1 
Okay, now I'm ready to look at what happens as B goes to infinity. All right, uh, and I'm going to move over here. Um, remember that this is the series that we're trying to figure out, does this series converge or diverge? I'm going to erase here. So I need to plug in B goes to infinity. If I do, over here I get E to the minus infinity. E to the minus infinity is like zero. So this guy just goes to zero. This guy though is kind of tricky because if I plug in B goes to infinity, I get minus infinity times zero. And infinity times zero is an indeterminate form. So I need to do something else with this. So I'm gonna rewrite it in a different way. Everything else doesn't have a B in it anymore. So I can just kind of get rid of it. Uh, I Not get rid of it, but write it as is. So let me rewrite here and let me show you what I'm saying. So what I have left is I have the limit as B goes to infinity of this guy, which I'm gonna rewrite now as minus B over E to the B. Now notice I haven't changed anything here, but now as I look at this limit, I've got, if I plug in infinity, I've got an infinity on top and I've got e to the infinity, which is infinity on bottom. So this has the form infinity over infinity, which means I can use L'Hopital's rule. Other than that, limit as b goes to infinity of this guy is just one over e. So I've got plus a one over e. And then I've got limit as b goes to infinity of minus minus one over e, which is plus another one over e. Okay, so let's take this limit using L'Hopital's rule. I'll take the derivative of top and bottom, and I get uh, the limit as b goes to infinity of the derivative of negative b is minus one, and the derivative of e to the b is e to the b. Plus, if I add these two together, I guess I get two over e. Now as b goes to infinity, this guy gets huge, this whole term goes to zero, and I'm left with two over e. Okay, what does that mean? That means that this improper integral converges, which means that my original series also converges. Now, something to be really careful about is that doesn't mean that my original series converges to two over e. That is not true in general. Uh, it won't converge to two over e. It will converge to something. I don't know what it is off the top of my head, but because of the integral test, I can be sure that it does converge to something. And so how I can finish off this problem is I can say, so the sum k going from one to infinity of k e to the negative k converges by the integral test. And we are done.